Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have a razor blade gaming laptop. I'm gonna show you how to fix or replace a letter size key on the keyboard. The only thing you're gonna need for this operation is a small flathead screwdriver, but the smaller the better, because the larger it is, the more chances we have of breaking something. Okay, so I'm gonna show you two things. The first thing is how to safely remove or disassemble the key assembly. In case it's wobbly, it's not clicking right, it's getting stuck, maybe you need to clean it out inside of it, whatever your case, I'll show you how to safely remove or disassemble the key assembly, and then I'll show you how to put it back on safely. Maybe you bought a replacement key um, or after you cleaned it you need to know how to get it on so first thing again guys how to take a key off we're gonna try to get this uh, screwdriver underneath our key cap which is this top part with the letter on it and but while going under that we're gonna try to get it on top of the retainer bracket that's underneath this so you obviously can't see what you're doing so go slow and feel your way out I'm gonna slide it under there but try to get it over the bracket that I know is under there so let me show you, oh, okay there. So I took that cap off, and this is what it should look like. Your um, screwdriver should be on top of that retainer. Uh, that's because that retainer is made out of very thin plastic, it's easy to break, and if you were to just reach there and rip this off, you'd, you'd break your bracket. So uh, as with most retainer clips, they're held on by usually four metal, uh, metal brackets, one toward the bottom, two corners, and one in each of the top two corners. That's how it, 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 it bends up. You see these two metal brackets on the bottom? You're going to want to bend those over slightly. Bend that one over. Sorry, bend that other one over. Okay, so I took these two and bent them down a little bit so it would just release this clip. And then that clip comes right off. Uh, just to show you what this clip looks like, Put it on the white background. If you can see this thing, it's got all it's it's got that bar on the bottom. It's got these two plastic nubs on top, and they're hard to see, but it's got two more plastic nubs on the bottom. All of those things are wicked breakable. Uh, that's why you have to do this really slow, really uh, deliberate. Some of you, when taking off your hinge clip, will notice that it may come apart. It's actually a two-part clip. One part fits inside the other one, so it's kind of a pain in the butt. But if you do accidentally knock those out from each other and it comes apart, you can get them put back together. It's not broken. I'll try to describe how to do that now. So if it comes apart, I'll show you how you can get it back together. So as you can see here, this is the inner clip. There's the outer clip. And on either side of the inner clip, you have these plastic pins. And they go into corresponding plastic holes on either side here. So you can get this back in there. Hard part is making sure that they're lined up correctly, that this isn't upside down. But you can put that piece back in here. You may have to hold one end and gently pull out the other end in order to make room. Uh, but again, very breakable components, but you can put them back together. So I'm gonna put that back on now. So I'm gonna take those pins that I bent down earlier, I'm gonna bend them back up, put them back in the position that they would be in on my computer. There we go. Okay, go very slow with this. All these are very um, expensive. Don't uh, don't break these if you don't have to. <laughs> um, so we're gonna put slide your bracket down in there. Snap it in place. Oops. Not like that though. Hard to do because it's such a small, uh, such a small component. There we go. Okay. So again, it may take some wiggling around, but try to try to get it back in place. I'm going to make sure these brackets are nice and bent back up to hold that thing securely in place. Because usually with your computer, you wouldn't have bent those down like I did. I d I just did that to get it off initially. But I also don't want to ruin my razor, so. All right, so that's back on, back in place, nice and secure. We didn't break it. Then you're gonna to want to put your cap on, back on top and just push down on it, just like that. And so that's how you would, again, remove a key safely, disassemble it, uh, maybe put the hinge clip together back if you needed to, and then how you would reassemble a key assembly. 
As a few side points, guys, the rubber spring that's underneath it all, the thing that bounces back up to push the key back up, those are not meant to be taken off and reassembled. If you do damage it or rip it off, uh, the only thing you can do is try a little bit of glue, uh, but again, not so much that it stops it from bouncing up and down. If that doesn't work, you may be in a situation where you do have to replace the keyboard, because again, those rubber springs are not meant to come off and be put back down. Second side point, if you do damage or break any of the components, the hinge clip, uh, the metal pins on the keyboard, if anything is broken, you can't really make the key assembly work. Uh, you kind of need to replace the key assembly. I usually try to get mine on sites like Amazon or eBay. Um, if I can't find the actual key for the model that I have, sometimes I'll look for an entire keyboard and I'll buy it, I'll take a key off of there like I showed you how to do, and then I'll save that extra keyboard for spare parts if I need it in the future. Last thing I guess is if you wanna see another sized key, like the space bar, the enter key, uh, there'll be a video link below in the description showing you how to do this operation on a larger key. Sometimes they have some extra components in their key assemblies that the letter key didn't have. But any letter sized key on your keyboard, this video should help you with. The arrow keys most likely are gonna be very similar in size to your letter key. The function keys are gonna be very similar. The only thing with function keys is because they're a little smaller, what often happens is the hinge clip inside is actually sideways from the letter key. So instead of putting your flathead screwdriver in the side, it's best to go from the bottom or from the top to get that uh, keycap off. But that's the operation. I hope it was helpful. Any questions, guys, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time waiting for an answer. If you need to leave me a question, please do. I do try to get to those at least a couple times a day. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.